Hey guys, welcome to another daily tip here. Today is Thursday, February 5th, 2009. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about CPU efficiency, specifically with the Reverb plugin. Uh, as you probably know, Reverb is a very CPU intensive task along with software instruments and things like that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can add, you can use one single Reverb plugin and add it to multiple different sources. So I have Superior Drummer here. I'm going to go, I'm going to add reverb to the snare, but I also want to add a little bit to the entire kit. I'm using the Avatar kit, uh, if you're wondering, and I'm using the Pop Rock kick drum. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, go over here to this little uh, plus sign right here. And what when you click this, uh, what this is going to do is it's going to create a new auxiliary track. When you click it, it's going to open up a dialog box. I want to create just one and I want to create a stereo one and I want it to have an input of bus number four. So we're going to go ahead and do that and uh, click create. And as you can see it, it uh, created a track here. I'm going to name it Reverb 2. Alright, now it's named Reverb 2. The reason why I'm naming it Reverb 2 is because I already have one Reverb plugin in here. And uh, now I'm going to go to my inserts here and add the actual reverb plugin I'm going to be using. Uh, it's by a company called Magnus Smart Electronics and it's called Ambience. I'll put a link to it in the sidebar. It's a very nice reverb. And it's completely free. So that makes it even better. Alright. So now we've already got the uh, reverb plugin on here. And that's the only one we're going to use for this tutorial. And I want to add it to my snare. So here's my snare drum. I'm going to go to my sends. I'm going to send it bus 4, which is that reverb bus we just created. And I'm going to click option, or I'm going to option and click on the um, little dial here, and that's going to bring up my level to uh, a flat 0 uh, dB on the reverb amount. All right, and that's going to be way too much, but it's going to be good enough for me to get some settings here. So let's go ahead and play this and get some nice sounding uh, s reverb settings. I want to add a lot of dry gain in here because I don't like a real wet sounding reverb. Add a little pre-delay. That's good. Let's drop the reverb on it by turning this dial. Alright. So that's just on the snare drum. And uh, now I'm going to add it to the whole kit. So I've created a bus already. And um, I'm using these, I'm sending all of my superior drummer tracks to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a send onto that bus. And I'm going to go ahead and pull it up to about 13 or so. And uh, now let's play that whole thing and adjust. Alright. Now let's go ahead and turn off this reverb and see what it sounds like. Very dry sounding. Let's turn it back on and see what it sounds like. It's going to sound much better. It's hard to really tell how much reverb you actually need until you put your bass and your guitars and your vocals in there. But that's how you can use one plugin on multiple different sources. So uh, if you have any questions about this or if you have any requests and ideas, uh, head on over to www.limitless-studios.com, our website, and click on the forum uh, right here, the middle link. And come register and you can post in, your gen in the general if you just want to chat. Or you can post uh, instrument recording if you have any questions. Uh, you can post and re request and ideas. Uh, you can even advertise your band if you'd like. So we really got a big community going. So head on over there and uh, we'll see you in another daily tip.